Hey there, YouTube. Far North Racing here. Just want to do a quick uh, follow-up video to the teardown we did on this uh, ECS shock absorber. Now, what I want to do is show how the sensors inside show the position of the actuator when it rotates. So what I've got is just like the past video, here's our power supply, and it's rigged up to go into the uh, connector that goes into the top of the shock absorber, which is the shaft here. So we've got this wire, which is currently broken, and this wire here currently connected. So when I connect these two wires, that will run the motor, just like you saw last time. Here, I've got a model train transformer uh, as a voltage source for a couple of LEDs, which we have right here. And what I've done is I've wired in the LEDs according to the same circuit diagram as it came with from the car. So what we have is ground here that goes to the common terminal, which is right here, and then the two switches that it uses to determine the uh, full hard, full soft, or medium settings inside the shock absorber come out of here and they're wired to these LEDs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn on the system and we'll have it zoomed in on the LEDs and you can watch the LEDs change as the actuator rotates. So there we go. We've got the actuator running right now, slowly. We're feeding it a, a volt and a half. And you can see that we've got a green LED and a red LED. And the pattern is green on, both on. Green on, both on. Green on, both on. Like that. And unfortunately, the red LED I have is very directional. It doesn't light up as well as this green one does. So you kind of have to see the, the pattern it throws on this piece of wood. But the, the bottom line is the same. So as the rotator is going through, the computer can tell what position the actuator is in by looking at this, the switches as they close and corresponding that to the appropriate actuator position. And if we're clever, we just stop the actuator and now the uh, green light is on so we know that it's in medium. And we can turn it on again. There. And now we've got it in the other setting. This does mean that the computer has to be programmed with whatever the lag time is to be able to turn this thing on and off. It's an interesting problem in timing. But there you are. That shows how this system can adjust the shock force from full hard to medium to full soft by looking at the switches that are built inside the shaft. Thanks for watching. Now. Well, that's nice, but we can use more power. Woo -woo. Time for a rave.